standardized examination procedure of magnetically controlled capsule endoscopy. Magnetically controlled capsule endoscopy, a painless non-invasive screening tool for gastric diseases, has been an emerging diagnostic modality in clinical practice. As the magnetic capsule in the stomach can be accurately controlled through multidimensional rotation and adaptive matching of an external C-arm robot, the diagnostic accuracy of MCE for detecting gastric focal lesions is comparable to that of conventional esophageal gastroduodenoscopy. The indications for MCE are listed as follows. The contraindications for MCE are listed as follows. The MCE consists of the following components. There are two joysticks on the workstation desktop. For gastric preparation, patients are required to consume a soft food diet on the day before the examination and to fast overnight. No color drinks or medications are allowed after 8 p.m. the day before examination. Patients are instructed to ingest 400 mg semethicon substantial dissolved in 100 ml water 40 minutes before the examination and are encouraged to walk freely to maximize contact with the gastric mucosa. In addition, patients are instructed to drink 1,000 ml water 10 minutes before the examination to optimize gastric distension. Water ingestion is repeated as needed to optimize gastric detention during the examination. For subjects demanding or indicated for small intestine examination, a total of 2 liter polyethylene glycol is administered the night before the examination. A 52-year-old woman with a recurrent upper abdominal pain for 3 months has already completed the gastric preparation. She took on the data recorder with the help of an assistant. Then the assistant activated the capsule with a capsule locator. At the beginning of the examination, we recorded the patient baseline characteristics through the capsule. The patient was instructed to assume the supine or left lateral decubitus position and swallow the capsule with a small amount of water to effectively observe the esophagus and dentate line. Images were captured at 2 frames per second. Gastric examination was initiated with the patient in the left lateral decubitus position. The magnetic ball was held at the patient's right shoulder. The capsule was maintained in an obliquely upward orientation of 45 degrees and then horizontally rolled it 360 degrees to observe the gastric fundus and the junction of the gastric body and fundus. The patient was placed in the left lateral decubitus position. The capsule was lifted with the camera oriented vertically upward to observe the cardia at a distance. We found a polyp near the cardia. The patient was placed in the supine position. The magnetic ball was lowered and the camera was oriented upwards to obtain a near view of the gastric cardia. The capsule was rotated 360 degrees to observe the polyp in greater detail. The patient was placed in the supine position. The magnetic ball was moved to the patient's upper left abdomen and lowered, and the camera was oriented vertically downwards to observe the posterior wall of the gastric body. The patient was placed in the supine position. The magnetic ball was lifted, and the camera was oriented downwards at a 45-degree angle. Then, the capsule was rotated 360 degrees to observe the gastric greater curvature and lesser curvature as well as the junction of the gastric body and fundus. The patient was placed in the supine position. The magnetic ball was moved to the middle left side of the abdomen and then lifted, with the camera oriented upwards to observe the anterior wall of the gastric body. The patient was placed in the supine position. The magnetic ball was moved to the left hypochondrium and then lowered to clearly observe the gastric angle. The capsule was moved into the antral region. 
Then patient assumed the right lateral decubitus position. The capsule was lifted with a camera oriented obliquely upwards at 45 degrees. The camera was then horizontally rotated 360 degrees to observe the antrum and the junction of gastric antrum and gastric body. The patient was placed in the right lateral decubitus position. The camera was oriented horizontally towards the pylorus for observation. The magnetic ball was moved toward the abdomen over the gastric antrum. The capsule was then rotated until the camera end faced the pylorus. The capsule was directed close to the pylorus with the guidance magnet robot. Once the pylorus opened, prostasis propelled the capsule into the duodenum. The magnetic ball was held vertically at the highest point, and the 360-degree automatic scanning bottom was pressed to scan the duodenum automatically. If the patient needed a further examination of the small bowel, after the capsule passed through the duodenum, the small intestine mode button under the real-time view interface was pressed. The patient was allowed to leave the hospital with a data recorder for further collection of the images of the small intestine. The patient returned the data recorder the next day after the capsule battery expired, and all the images were downloaded to the computer workstation and were reviewed by the reading physician. The reading physician would generate a MCE report after carefully reviewing all the captured images. If the patient has not observed capsule excretion within two weeks, she should return to the hospital to confirm capsule retention or excretion using a handheld capsule locator. Detection of the capsule is indicated by the red signal light of capsule locator. Otherwise, the signal light remains green. These are the standard landmarks of upper GI tract. These are typical gastrointestinal lesions detected by MCE. The adverse events mainly include capsule retention and gastric preparation-related events. In summary, MCE has been used clinically as an important screening and examination tool for gastrointestinal diseases. This novel MCE is a comfortable, highly acceptable alternative to EGD for patients refusing or unfit for conventional endoscopy and has the advantages of not requiring anesthesia, no risk of cross-infection, and excellent patient acceptance.